Hey guys, it's Joanne. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to come on and give a quick update on what was going on um, based on um, my son's struggles with New Jersey unemployment. So my first video, I said that I would fax, um, fax for anybody who could not fax. So I do have two numbers. I will list all the information I'm about to give down below because I'm going to try and do this really quick. Um, so anyway, just to get to the point, because somebody didn't like how it took so long to get to the fax numbers, they are 609-777-2843 and 609-777-2444. They both seem to work. Everything goes through. I don't know what happens after that. I hope you guys are getting answered. I have faxed this many faxes for you guys, and I will continue to do as many as I have to. Um, and I just want to kind of go over the timeline that we were dealing with, with, um, my son here. So the first video, I think, um, we had been trying to call and we finally got a fax number. So we initially sent a letter on, oh, I thought I had this all set up. We originally faxed a letter on April 22nd. So that's about based on when people were let go here. It was probably about a month, um, almost four weeks from that time. Um, of calling and calling. Um, now my son's situation was a little bit different because he had a claim that ended, went to work, got laid off again. Not technically laid off though, because the company was still paying um, your average salary, the company that he worked for, in which case was not much because he had only worked for about three days before all this happened. Uh, so when he finally, so I faxed a letter on April 22nd. He did receive a call that day. And I think that's what prompted me to um, do the first video. Um, he received a call that day and was told that he had to file an, ext an extension on his original claim and that that would be happening soon. Okay, so again, calling, calling, checking the website, checking the website, nothing updated. So then on May 19th, sent another letter. Faxed another, you know, just saying that we spoke almost a month ago. Nothing has changed. Um, so since, so then on May 21st, okay, he received still nothing. He received a text message from unemployment regarding his claim, um, saying that he could file for the extension benefit and, but he could still couldn't access the website. Then on June 5th, he received a letter, you know, one of these things that come in the mail from um, unemployment, stating that his uh, claim was, he was eligible, his claim was eligible as of March 29th, um, and then it just gave the maximum benefit amount, his weekly amount, and that. So again, check the website, check the website, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, Still kept faxing, but he wasn't really getting any callback at that time based on my fax, I don't think. So anyway, I, for some reason, get all the, an, a daily email from Congressman Andy Kim, who is District 3 in New Jersey, who um, does wind up being my district. I'm in Ocean County. I looked him up. It looks like he covers part, um, Ocean County and Burlington County. So you might have to look up your particular congressman, but I'm gonna put a whole bunch of stuff down below, links and all that, and maybe it'll help. Um, <clears throat> so today is the 19th, so today's Friday. On Tuesday, he received an email stating he can collect his, he could finally certify his benefits on Wednesday. He went on Wednesday um, and he said they let him certify eight plus weeks, which is good. Um, as of today, though, now that was Wednesday, and it was, and that um, ugh, the timelines for you to certify, you have like a half hour window, and it's based on the last four of your social security number and all that. I'm sure all you guys who are currently filing know that. Maybe um, you don't, so that's going to be link, linked down below as well. Um, so as of today, the money's still not in the bank. Collected Wednesday. Um, I think like 6.30 p.m. So maybe that's why. I know in the past, if he collected on, if he certified on Sunday, he would have that money Tuesday. So maybe now it's like a three day, because I think my daughter says it's taking like three days for hers to to come through. Um, so that's really that, guys. I mean, that's the struggle. So still, as of today, from March, no money in the account. Um, 
So the things that I'm going to put down below, um, I had sent an email to this congressman's office regarding this. Um, I did receive an email back stating what should be put in an email to her so that she could forward it to unemployment. So I'm going to include that. I'm including um, how to certify because it's, I guess it's tricky because some people are still making money from their, um, their jobs that they had. Um, and since my son went back to work this past Monday, they started, they opened back up, but minimal hours and, and that it's not full scale yet. Um, but I did see um, a news article that you can still collect even though you're back to work if your hours are reduced and that. Um, so I'm including the certification schedule, um, how to certify, um, how to answer those questions because I'm telling you, you answer one of those questions. I just got an email yesterday from somebody who answered one question wrong and now it throws everything off. And then there's also something coming up in July um, that New Jersey's doing. It's called the COVID-19 Emergency Rental Assistance Program. I'm just gonna leave the link to that um, news article down below as well in case that helps anybody out. Um, and again, I'll put my email below. So if you need something faxed, um, I will gladly do that for you. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know if anyone, you know, if anyone's getting help from me faxing, nobody's really getting back to me saying that it helped, but you probably wouldn't know if my particular fax helped. Um, I'm also just kind of emailing you back, telling you it went through. I'm not, um, getting i'm not having a receipt print from but i sit in front of the fax machine until it goes through so if i say i faxed it and went through then it did so all right guys i hope this helped um i hope some of the pieces of information that i leave down below um i hope i don't make the congressman's office mad but they're um, public employees right this is all public knowledge so why not share it um and i think that that was it so if you guys have any kind of similar stories, you know, leave it in the comments below so everyone can kind of look around. Just because with, in my son's case, with every little thing, with the phone call, with the text message, with the email, like every time it was a little bit of hope and then it was like a month in between before even the next little bit of hope came through. Um, so it's very, it's very, um, very aggravating. Um, I'm glad he's back to work. I'm glad he was finally able to claim. Let's see how that goes. Um, I also did hear, just on a side note, that that extra $600 does not come with your unemployment benefit money. You get that a couple days later, I heard. And then I also heard that they're not taking taxes out of that. So keep that in mind, guys, um, if you do um, happen to get that money. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I don't have to do any more New Jersey updates but I gotta tell you out of all of my videos I'm a paper crafter and I am just so thrilled with how many um how many people that my New Jersey videos uh have reached so again guys thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon